guys, for today's video, we're doing something a little different. I'm pretty excited about it. We're starting a new series. It's called Squishy Top Chef Makeovers. So I've been thinking about all different ways that I can put a new and fun twist on squishy makeovers. And something that I personally love are food competitions. You know what? Let's make a food competition reality TV show with my squishies. Because that sounds like a good idea. Good, good idea. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to be choosing three squishies. Those three squishies will be competing to create food, dishes, food, foods. I'd like to introduce you to this episode's contestants. We have Seaford, Chip, and Coco. Each of our chefs will be creating their own unique dish of food. And at the end, we will vote which one we think is the best and who will become the next squishy top chef makeover person. Let's get started. In a battle between the forces of baking and artistry, there can only be one top chef. Reigning all the way from the woodland communities of Australia, we have this mother-daughter duo, Coco and Baby Bubbles. They are prepared to bake for us this donut. Okay, so this donut is in pretty good condition. It looks mysteriously like it could resemble Cocoa and Bubbles eventually. The squish value is 10 out of 10, very soft. We are sanding it down and trimming off any seams that might cause an issue in the future. After everything's prepped, I'm giving a nice white base coat to this donut before we can start painting with my new wet palette. I actually had no idea what this was. I know almost nothing about art supplies, but someone left a comment and so nicely told me that if I got a wet palette, my paint might not get dried out like this piece of paint is. So I will let you guys know how this works. Thank you for the comment. As you can see, I decided to mix together all of my own paint colors since I now have a palette to store them in. <laughs> yes. After my custom paint colors were all ready to go, I used the purple on the donut part of the donut. The theme of this donut is of course themed after Coco and Bubbles, Coco being purple, Bubbles being blue, and together they're going to be creating their own unique dessert. So Coco and Bubbles also have a tan rope? No. Jungle thing? What is it called? Branch? A branch. A tan branch. And I'm incorporating that tan color into the ears. These are supposed to be waffle cones. And then I'm adding chocolate chips. So I figured that the mint green had to represent some kind of food and mint chocolate chip ice cream is the obvious choice here. It looks like melted ice cream. The green sauce is a special recipe by Coco and Bubbles. I'll let them reveal it to you later. After that was done, I felt like the donut was missing something and I could not add more icing. So instead I added little white dots to make it look like powdered sugar. And this is what the final thing turned out looking like. Coco and Bubbles are off to the judges, wondering if what they did is enough to win the title of Top Chef. Coco, could you please tell us a little bit about your dish? Oh, oh interesting. Sure. The is presentation that a of nice. donut? Wow. Could you elaborate on what your special sauce is? Oh! Unconventional. Your thoughts, Mel. Harsh criticism from the judges, but will the fans agree? Raining all the way from the water, we have Seaford, our lovable sea turtle. Seaford is going to be preparing for us a unique dish that combines donuts with his favorite fish food. I've never heard of a fish and donut dessert, but maybe it will taste okay. Okay, so as you can see, I have this fish biscuit, I think it is, and I just took out the little hook that was in his mouth, sanded it down, as well as cut off any of the excess seams around the donuts. Some of these donuts were in pretty good condition and some of them were in horrible condition. Really depended. I'm using some tacky glue and gluing these donuts together in a stack, making sure to align the bitten parts of the donuts. I added some glue to the side of the donuts and then put that fish on it. The idea for this squishy is that it's going to be a stack of donuts in which a fish has taken a bite out of it. <laughs> After that it all dried, I took some extra slick paint and filled in any of the cracks and holes and just made sure every part of the squishy was one and together. Ooh, why does this look so good to me? Okay, 
So I'm giving a white base coat to this. Obviously, I need to have a good clean slate before I start painting. Once that white base coat is down, I used a tan color for the donuts. On the bitten part of the donuts, I added a jelly to the inside. The jellies are yellow, green, and blue, and those are the same colors as Seaford. The idea being that this dessert will be modeled after Seaford's theme. I then took a light brown color and outlined the bite marks to the donut. Because the inside of donuts are usually a little bit of a lighter color, I did go back with a lighter tan. After that, I took a chocolate brown color and covered the top of the donut, as well as the two donuts that were stacked underneath. I decorated our lovely fish with the same colors that Seaford has on him, green, yellow, and blue. I had to put some extra puffy paint right there to cover up the eye, and then I created the same kind of face that Seaford has and added some sprinkles. And here is the final result. Here is the before and the after. Let's check in to see how Seaford is feeling. Seaford says he's just happy to be here. He's done his absolute best, and even if he doesn't win, he knows that at least he has a new thing to eat? Friend? I don't know what this is. Seaford, what was the inspiration behind this dessert? Seaford, we've got some fish judges. Could you please elaborate on that? Carnivorous. I'm not staying for this. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> good, good. Thank you, Seaford. Maurice, what are your thoughts? A tough crowd. We'll have to see how you do in the polls. Good luck, Seaford. Last but certainly not least, we have Chip. Raining all the way from the baking section of your local grocery store, Chip will be giving this Sunday a makeover. Okay, so starting off with this ice cream sundae, it really isn't in too bad a shape. It's kind of like a new squishy, honestly. I gave it a sand, I cut off any excess pieces. It has a very good squish value, I'd say 10 out of 10. Very soft. And I just gave it a white base coat to start off with. After I had painted the white base coat, I realized it was missing something. So I decided to add a cherry on top, as well as some berries to the outside of the sundae bowl. After all that white puffy paint had dried, I took a twist tie and removed the red part of it just so I could use the wire. I stabbed that into the top of the cherry, bent it, cut it to the right height, and covered it with puffy paint. I thought this added a cool touch. I've never seen anyone do that with squishies. I painted the bowl with a tan color, dipped my brush into some blue, and painted the ice cream blue. And I think you guys can see where this is going probably at this point. I painted the drips that were supposed to be chocolate drips and I made them cherry drips. This is getting suspicious. I also painted the strawberry and the cherry with different shades of red. I went back in and darkened up the cherry after the fact. And I also added like a chocolate sauce to the bottom of the cherry because I thought that looked cool and nice and drippy. I made the leaves on the strawberry green and then also filled in that white part and made it white ice cream because I didn't really know what that thing was. After all those parts were painted, I then moved to the berries. This is what the final thing ended up looking like. Here's the before and here is the after. Before Chip goes into the judge's room, he has decided to pay a visit to a long time friend, Sherry. Cherry is about to see her dessert for the very first time. Oh, those cursed cups you can never get up when you fall. Will this new confidence boost from Cherry be enough to carry Chip through the judges' doors? Oh, we made it, okay. Chip, please tell us, where did you get the inspiration for your dessert? It's true. You can get the sweeter side of life when you're in love. Ooh, wow. Marge, can we get your thoughts on this dessert? Where, where'd the plate go? Wait, did you eat the food or the plate, Marge? Oh my god. A special thank you goes out to this week's judges who gave away their weekend and their appetites to bring to you this first episode of Squishy Top Chef Makeover. There will be a poll on the community tab, and you guys can vote who you think won this episode. If you did like this episode, please leave a comment down below to let me know, because I will do more if you guys want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye!